that coming out. Yep, that's all off. Now well, that's now out. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> I've got a different uh, video artist today. Um, take it to bits. Hmm. <laughs> so what's the actual job today then? So the actual job is to get into there because it has a slightly rattly timing chain and I want to get it done now before anything untoward happens. Hmm. We've already been a bit busy today haven't we? Um, yes, there's an MR2. Yeah, it's um, not in its usual position and the usual position for the Audi is over there. But the MR2 is currently without an arse. It's got no bumper. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> the bumper would be found in the garage. <laughs> Along with the boot of it. So, yeah. We've already been uh, playing around with that and now we've got an Audi to play around with. Yes, <laughs> it's always a fun packed weekend. Yeah, so um, yeah, it's just a case of dismantling stuff at the moment. And getting into the bits I need to get into. And then from there, train off, new train on. Jobs are good, apparently. Hopefully. Oh. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Um, should we not go there? <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's um, that's the job for today. So we'll update you soon. So we've got a lot of it out now. Yes, but there's a couple here that um, hmm, just don't seem to want to uh, fit any of the LED sockets we have. Yeah, it's that one, isn't it? That, that's nice. that one there. Yes. And nothing I seem to have seats into it, which is typical mm. of Audi really. I even bought new sockets to specially fit the job I'm trying to do, but no, they don't fit either. So at the moment, a bit of a struggle. Oh dear. Yeah. That's a pain in the backside. But yeah, it's mostly empty now, but getting there slowly. Just stuck. <laughs> and there's no drama getting this off, is there? Well, the high pressure pump doesn't seem to be a problem. To be honest. Uh, but I've had this off before. I did a video a few months ago, changing the cam follower. Mm -hmm. So I know this comes off all right. Bottom bolt there's a bit of a pain, but you can get to it just. And there's never any dramatics have taken it off either, so. No dramatics apart from when you um, maybe catch the live terminal on the battery and you've just let fuel out into the engine bay. <laughs> and maybe there's a big spark and a little bit of fire. Um, <laughs> other than that, <laughs> other than that, no drama at all. <laughs> but I mean, that, that never happened to us, did it? So, oh God, I mean... no, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm much more careful than that. As you can see, the battery's gone. Yeah, there's, there's no battery there. I mean, that's over there, so. Yeah, hmm. so, um, yeah, no problem at all. <laughs> no, I, I didn't catch the battery. <laughs> Come follow her. Oh, it's oily. Must be bad. It's a new one. <laughs> all of the things taken out so far. So, yeah, so far the the battery's out <laughs> now. <laughs> After a little fire, that's the high pressure pump out. We can leave that just there. That's not a problem. Um, up there has got to get disconnected. That's no biggie because that splits, if I remember. Yep, like that. So that's off. That I need to get that bracket off, and that's really peeing me off at the moment. The wires can get out of the way. Yeah, so it's just that holding me up. I think that's got to come off as well. Um, 
and then we start hitting the bolts. Otherwise we're almost there, aren't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I don't have Audis, so... There's a lot more work to do yet. Yeah. That is a weird thing. It's a spline drive, but it's quite a tight spline drive. Yeah. It's like... I've got nine the tools. I can't believe that one of them doesn't fit. What they need to do is make some kind of a expanding metal that you can put in there and it eventually solidifies so you can undo it nice and easy. Yeah, they've got that. It's called a welder. Yeah, yeah that, that, that may be used. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, you've taken the battery out now, so a welder won't be any problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit further apart. Uh, yes, it is. It's been a bit of a pain, and all because of that stupid bracket just there. But it is out now. It is out, yes. A little bit of um, persuasion sort of thing. <laughs> and a bit of panicking trying to find somewhere that might sell some stuff. Uh, yeah. But in the end it wasn't really needed, but never mind. <laughs> Nothing's ever easy. No, because it's got that badge on it. <laughs> yeah, it's not just the Audi, unfortunately, it's a lot of car makers. BMW, Mercedes, Volkswagen. To name a few. Yeah, people tend to <laughs> use their own special things. Yeah, so that's the inside of the Audi's cover then anyway. Look at cover, yeah, that's the one. Yep. And that's all you're going to have to take off, isn't it? You don't need anything else to come off. I've got to put the cam tool in there, but I've got to line it up on TDC first. It's very close, but I still need to line it up. Mm -hmm. um, and I also need to get this cover off here that I'm doing at the moment. So that's that metal one, I'm taking. Mm -hmm. Yep. The big metal cover. Aluminium, not aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. We talk proper in this country, we do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to find all the bolts. It's a little bit blind at the moment. Well, at least it's not uh, plastic. <laughs> plastic. Right. No. So yeah, get in there slowly. Okay, is that coming out? Yep, that's all off. Well, that's now out. See if there's another bolt hiding away somewhere. Ah. Uh huh. <laughs> another one. <laughs> God, how many bolts it take to hold this damn thing in? Well, how many is it so far? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight, I think. They really wanted to protect your chains. They weren't going to come off in a hurry, I know that. The problem is now you've got to get these all back in when you're done. Yeah, I'm going to find all the holes again. Yeah. Oh. So now... So now... Hey! It actually comes loose. <laughs> oh, and it's got some... Uh, yeah, some gasket sealer in there. So, oh, at some point in its life... Ah, oh, that's better. I wanted that to do that. Looks like I can take the damn thing off. <laughs> Use that M I was using. Right. There is a chain. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. So our that first inspection, yeah that's yeah. Got a little bit of play there, so yeah. That's that's too much. That should almost be on the bottom of the stop. Mm-hmm. And it isn't, so yeah, that chain was definitely ready to be changed. Well, in good news, it hasn't split anywhere. No, no, no damage done. Good old preventive maintenance. Horse works. Right. 
Yes, clean that up a little bit and then, yeah, get on with changing it. Yeah. So, hmm. Now, basically you need, I think, if I remember rightly, it's an M10. Yep, an M10 in there, take it off. But first, TDC, lock it off, job done. Catch you in a bit, good. Hello, <laughs> Flamby. It's become a bit of a harder task now, hasn't it? <laughs> it's become a bit of a pain in the ass. So the bolt in the VVC unit will not budge. So my only option now is to take the top cradle off and loosen the cams. At least that way, I can then get the train on. Because you need to go in any other way, to be honest. Yeah. Bit of a pain, but there you go, such is life. So we're doing it properly, we've got a bit of cardboard feeding all of the uh, bolts in properly. Yep. So that we know where to put them back. Yep. So yeah, it's nearly an end of the Sunday. At least half of it. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say a half, it's probably more a quarter to but be honest. It's only got to be done every 40 or 50,000 miles, so chances are we won't have to do yeah. it again. <laughs> Alright. So now hopefully we'll be able to get this off. And there won't be anything else stupid that's holding us back. Uh, okay, feels tight. <laughs> Haven't missed a bolt anywhere or Ooh. surely that's not a bolt from underneath there. No, that's the cam sensor. Yeah. That's the sensor, see that? Give it some leverage. Yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can see anything, but nothing apparent. It may just be nice and tight. It's possibly on bail pins. Yeah. I would look at the video, but... Ah. I think that's got to come off, because that's got a peg into there. Ah. In that case, we might have found the reason. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's the uh, it's for the cover, which the engine you don't cover, need. which I don't have. No. Snap um, it. <laughs> well, to be honest, was it metal or plastic? The easiest way. Oh, there you go. That just is lifted that? it. So. <laughs> Oh, well, there you go. That's um, that's pinged up. <laughs> okay, so that that's moving. Okay, so that's. I don't want that one to come up. But I do want this one. Um. Yeah. Be loose enough to do that with. Well, to be honest, you can get it out that way by the looks of it. Can't see anything because the hands are in the way, but not to worry, you'll soon see. There you go, that's chain. That's a chain. It's off. Yes. Now we've just got to get one on and then line everything back up. Well, I can follow in their feet first. Yes. We have the chain, and I want to do. A comparison. So as you can see, to be honest, 
Yeah, the right hand side is a little bit longer. Yeah, it's a little bit stretched, but it wasn't that bad. No. Okay. And it's not like you're going to um, forget which one's a new one, luckily, okay. so... Yeah. Right, so, next thing. Stage two of God knows. So what needs to come off? Three bolts and the cam follower. So this. Yep. There we go. One little cam guide, which yeah has feels like a significant ridge in it, but mm. it does look quite easy to compress. I mean, you've got oil going to it now, obviously, but yeah, well, it does. It does compress when the oil is not present. Pair it with the new one. Oh, looks good. Yeah, that is warm, definitely warm. And that one definitely feels a lot springier. I'm going to guess that they have springs inside them as well, too. They're not only reliant on oil. Yeah. That's um, correct. A few moments later. There's a new chain on. Yes, it was a bit of a pain, to say the least. You have to take the whole cradle off. And, um,. Basically feed the cam in from that end and then loop it over. Uh, but when timing marks seem to be alright, I'm just going to stick some RTF around this because it's got the original AD sealant and then put it back together. Yeah, so there's new chain all on, new seal, there's a bit of a light here as well so that's giving us a little bit of a light as it turns a bit darker. Yeah, we are. I'd say we're getting there. Yes, we are getting there. Yeah, it's been quite a day. Quite a day. Things are tightening up. Yes, I think we're certainly getting there. I think this requires a torque wrench. Just nip them up by hand and then talk them down off camera. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah. At the moment we're kind of just compressing the valves and the head and everything. Everything seems to be lined up. Which is good. And the chain is on and the cam guide looks good. So I think not too far off getting this bit done anyway. We're about there now. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I think so. It's mostly back together. Yeah, it's been a bit of an uphill struggle, but. And yeah. it's uh, definitely dark out now as well, street lamps are on, <laughs> so and we've just got a big uh, torch that I'm holding at the moment. Yeah. Well, technically it's a uh, house flood by, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not the best way to do things, to be honest. No, I'm sort of trying to help manoeuvre the light as best as possible, but it's not all that easy, especially with the camera on as well. But it's not. The camera's not going to see a lot, but not to worry. There's maybe something down there that you can see, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But this bit will get cut out anyway if it's crap. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all probably be crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to 
put this down gently and then cool it at night. I think that is a good plan. Finish it off in the morning. <laughs> yeah, when you've got some proper light. <laughs> Right, they're about screwed down. I think that's where we call it a night for now. Yeah, you're gonna put your pipes back on? No. That's tomorrow job. Yeah, lost the light now, so <laughs> it's pointless trying to do anything. Yeah, it's, like I say, street light. I think the camera makes it look a little bit lighter than it actually is, but yeah. <laughs> I was yes. like saying that you look in the engine bay, yeah, it definitely makes it look a lot lighter. Yeah, it's dark, and that's shutting in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right, that'll do. Good night for now. Good night. Well, good morning, YouTube. So it's um, <laughs> I think it's um, safe to say that yesterday didn't go quite as planned. Um, it should be quite an easy job to, to obviously do this chain, and nothing that I haven't tackled before. But the bolt. <laughs> in the actual um, exhaust cam would not come out so we had to take the cradle out and then from there um, obviously had to fit the new chain in which uh, was a challenge to say the least but uh, we left you last night with the, the light failing very quickly uh, just putting the, the rock cover back on again so this morning I uh, just got the PCV valve to put on uh, the induction and uh, let's see the uh, uh, the coil pack stuff like that so not much to do um, I want to give it a turnover by hand just to make sure everything's okay um, I did line everything up with a cam tool so everything should be good but uh, just for peace of mind want to take it nice and easy so let's get on with it okay YouTube so it's uh, it's all back together um, give the engine a turnover and it's all free nothing uh, seems to be interfering and uh, yeah everything's back in place so here we go, the first startup. Now I turned the key on a minute and it came up with an ESP fault and stuff like that. So I think, uh, <laughs> never there before, so I think just disconnected the battery caused problems. But let's have a look what comes up now. Okay, so we all look good so far. This is the first turn of the key. Fingers crossed. Oh! It's very, very spluttery. Um, I can't pretend I like the sound of that, to be honest. It's very, very spluttery. Why would that be? Um, I'm hoping I haven't got a sensor missed off or anything crazy like that. But uh, yeah, that didn't sound. That didn't sound great, if I'm totally honest. So, I think I've got some investigation to do. Okay, take two. Uh, just help if you put all the vacuum lines on, but <laughs> there you go. Schoolboy error. Um, such is life. Right. Let's give it a turn. Uh, the gear, yep. Crank it over. Ah, that sounds better. There you go. Running nice and smoothly. Ah, that's much, much better. Yep. And we've got the uh, the normal TSRI knock, so not happy. So the cam chain it sounds good. Uh, excellent, job done. Right now I've just got to um, yeah tidy up. <laughs> oh yeah, such is life. So thanks for YouTube for joining me. It's been a bit of an experience. Um, over two days. Didn't quite expect it to be this long, but being the bolt didn't come out on the, uh, the camshaft, then you know, I had to take the cradle off and just mess about a little bit. But it's done, that's my intent. Um, right, tidy up, wash up, and make what's left of the weekend. Cheers, all. Bye bye.